welcome to this another reaction video apparently. Apparently a treat this with another coming soon trailer this year. I mean they're really dishing them out this year. I mean we were lucky to get two for series eleven, but now we're on to three for series twelve. I mean you know, it must be really good, this series, the way they're um, hyping it up. So just to say, for this video, I'm going to... I'll react to this trailer and I'll just give a bit of a review of my opinions on Series 12 so far. Just a heads up. Uh, expect around March time, once the series is ended, then I'll do a, a all-round review of all ten episodes of Series 12 and just... Uh, break down the series and review it episode by episode rather than doing it week in week out Because then I can still give my opinions on the episodes because so far it's it's ten, it's not a bad series So I'll, I should have more positive things to say in it this year than I did uh, for series 11 so Let's get into watching the trailer Time is swirling around me How long is this gonna last Jazz? It's just our lives. Sometimes, even I can't win. <clears throat> Everything you think you know yes. is a lie. Who are you? All humanity will fall. Very good. Ah, see the master's voice is in there again. Again, he's saying the same as he said before, so I'm guessing it's just a um, a sound clip from the first episode from Spyfall Part 1, but I guess he will be back in the finale because, well, it's inevitable, isn't it? You can't, you can't just disappear like that after giving off that big revelation. So, yeah, we've got the Jadoon in there, we've got the Cybermen to look forward to. That's what I'm hanging on for. I'm hoping now they'll do the Jadoon justice next week. And then, I don't know what episode the Cybermen are in yet. But that should be good. And there's some weakness in there. She's saying she can't win everything. Hmm. So, I, I'm enjoying how we've seen some weakness to her. Because in the other series, it's, it's like she was too... <clears throat> not perfect. But she was not invincible. But, I don't know, there wasn't much threat, was there? towards her existence or or powers to to defeat monsters so it looks like there's more of that anyway and and then there's the companions contemplating their um, mortality in the TARDIS because that's another thing you know like I said up till now they're just just traveling with this random alien woman I don't even know she was a Time Lord till a few episodes ago and now now surely now they're realising the dangers that come come with travelling with the Doctor like like the past companions did because I think that's what's missing they don't realise that this could come to an end at any point and then they're either dead or stuck back in their normal monotonous lives on Earth so so yeah, hopefully Chibnall and whatnot will do that that justice with that. But yes, it's it's good. It's it's not series four vibes. Obviously, that was that still is. Those trailers are very chilling. I find not chilling, but they put a chill down your spine still because they were very epically made. But you know, I think if they keep going with. If they pull off episodes, especially the finale two-parter that was as good as Spyfall, then I think there's a lot of hope for Chibnall's era of Doctor Who. It's looking good. Like I say, look forward to the Dune and the Cybermen, but hopefully now there's some weaknesses and she can finally develop as a character, uh, her Doctor, Jodie Whittaker, I mean. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> in regards to the rest of the series so far... Just a brief overview, because like I say, I'll do a more in-depth one in uh, in the coming months. But Spyfall was very good. 
very good indeed. Near Moffat level kind of because he always did his epic openings and stuff. But part one was good. I enjoyed part two better. I don't know what the consensus is on that, but I enjoyed the second part better, especially with the master. <clears throat> Great reveal. Didn't see that coming. I should have really, but I didn't. And that's where Chibnall's um, sort of no spoilers regime works well there. The fact that he he didn't put anything out about that like Moffat did and he spoiled it in series 10 with John Sim returning. So the fact that he, he didn't let on with that meant it was a great surprise. Unlike last series where he did the same thing. Like he had very trailers that had nothing in them and um, they were very lacklustre and stuff. And you think, you got your hopes to think he was hiding something when in fact there was nothing really to spoil in the first place. There wasn't much in the series. So the fact that now he's done it this year and it's paid off is brilliant. So part one I liked, Lenny Henry was good as Daniel Cohen was it? Let's see, I can't remember the name still. Part two, enjoyed that. Good supporting characters and everything. Good payoff for the master and of course the timeless child. Glad that wasn't just a throwaway reference from Chibnall in um, series 11. Very good indeed. So now we've got this mystery of Gallifrey again. Brilliant. Episode 3, Orphan 55. Mm. I don't like that one very much. That's I think that's quite the general consensus from people. Not just because of the message at the end, but at the minute, my thoughts. It might change, but having watched it twice, it's not one I'd revisit again. Climate message was in your face, didn't need to be. Episode just a bit pointless really. So yeah. Again more in depth review in the coming months, but for now it's the weakest episode so far. Uh yesterday's episode in Nikola Tesla one. Quite enjoyed it. I don't always enjoy historicals but that was well done. Probably my favourite historical so far. I know Rosa is very highly rated by people, but you know, I, I did prefer this one. It was more of an interesting story, and I'd never heard of the man before, so that helped. No oh, good episode. I'll have to watch it again, but good characters, fairly fairly good payoff. You know, it's good. It was better than last week, so there's hope. Now I'm just hoping next week with the Jadoon, fugitive of Jadoon, that he, uh, uh, um, Chibnall doesn't. Because they've got a good reputation to do the Jadoon, Platoon Upon the Moon, because they haven't been on many episodes, so hopefully he'll give them uh, more, char more, more characteristics and stuff, so hopefully that should be good. But yes, for now, I'm enjoying Series 12. We've got the one dud with the Orphan 55. Hopefully that'll be a one-off or an, an anomaly. I don't know at this minute. I'm quite enjoying it. Jodie Whittaker is finally getting into the role. Since the Gallifrey, um, since coming up against the Master again, and the Gallifrey, the Timeless Child revelation, she's been a bit more, more stern and darker, which suits her because I think she's more of a serious actress, in my opinion, with Broadchurch and Black Mirror and all that she's done in the past. She thrives on that kind of thing. I don't think the sort of humour suits her very much. A little bit's alright, but she was very childish up till now. But I noticed it. Um, spiteful, obviously, the North 55, she was one of the more bearable parts of it. And then uh, yesterday's when she came up against uh, Skeffler, is it? They looked like Ragnos to me, or she reminded me of the Empress of the Ragnos. So, yeah, that was good as well quite a good fret level in there starting to like her not quite there but it's getting there the fact that she's now watchable and I can actually um, en engross myself and take her somewhat seriously in the role that is a good sign so hopefully that will be kept up now well I hope you enjoyed this reaction plus the um, brief overview of series 12 Keep subscribing, liking for more videos, comment if you liked it, or if there's anything I missed out and you want to bring up, that's fine. Um, like I said, 
around March, mid-March probably, I'm going to start work on a um, more in-depth overview of Series 12 so I can do it comprehensively rather than week by week. And then we can, I can break down the series and give you my opinions on it overall. So, until then, uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.